let's start with the divisibility models. Now, you must have already studied the divisibility rules. So fundamentals were already done. And you know what, how does the divisibility behaves. So I'll quickly give you the pressure. Okay, everyone, please start quickly uh, uh, looking at the screen. You must be knowing most of them. The ones which you're not able to recall, you can note down them quickly. Okay, first one. A number is said to be divisible by 3 if the sum of all its digits is divisible by 3. Perfect. I am sure you must be remembering this. Okay, so number is said to be divisible by 3 if the sum of all its digits is divisible by 3. Perfect. Number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits of the number is divisible by 4. Right? The last two digits. Perfect. When I talk about the 6, divisibility by 6. So divisibility by 6 is very simple. What is that? It has to be divisible by 2 as well as 3. That's it. Okay. Now, when I talk about the divisibility by 7, now, there's a rule. It's a very simple rule that you have to understand and quickly uh, note it down. I'm sure this will be a bit new to some of you or maybe all of you, not sure. So, they say that if a number has to be divisible by 7, that can happen if you take up the 2 times the units digit. Right? And then you take its difference with number formed by the rest of the digits. Okay, I'll take up an example. Don't worry about it. I'll quickly take up an example. So whenever this quantity is 0 or divisible by 7. So basically in general divisible by 7. So either it is 0 or it is a multiple of 7. I would be saying that this number will surely be divisible by 7. Let me take a few examples here, right? Without example, it will might be a bit difficult for you to absorb this. Let's say if I take up the first one, 504. What do they say? They say that you take the 2 times of the unit digit. That is what? Simply 4. So we get 2 into 4. That turns out to be what? 8. Okay. Then if you subtract the value or other, as I said, we are taking the difference now, right? So if I take the difference here, so 2 into 4, 2 times of unit digit and the difference with the rather other two digits, rather other digits, whatever that is left. So if I remove 4, what do I have? 50. So we got 2 into 4 minus 50, that is 8 minus 50, which is nothing but what? Rather 8, uh, difference of 8 and 50 and difference of 8 and 50 is nothing but what? 42. Is it divisible by 7? Yes, hence the number 504 is clearly divisible by 7. Alright, let me repeat it once again very quickly. What I have done. So you take up the first, uh, rather unit digit. So at unit digit we have for this 504, the unit digit is 4. Right, so we take up 2 times of the unit digit. And you take its difference from the other 2 digits. Right, number formed by other 2 digits. Rather other digits, whatever the other digit. Here we have 2. So the difference of 8 and 50, that gives you what? 42, which is clearly divisible by 7. Hence, the number 504 is divisible by 7. You can apply the same trick for these numbers also. That you can do later on. But I hope the divisibility rule is clear. 2 times unit digit. And its difference with the number with the other digits. And if this difference is a multiple of 7 or 0, which is clearly divisible by 7, then we say that the number itself is divisible by 7. Got the idea? Perfect. Okay. I'm sure everyone must have noted it down. Two times of unit place digits and its difference with number formed by other digits. Okay. Don't con get confused with this minus sign and all. It's the difference basically that we talk about here. So the difference has to be positive. You don't worry about it. See, difference is always positive. We In physics, you must have studied or you might be studying it that the current always uh, flow from higher potential to lower potential. Right. So difference is always positive. It's always from higher minus lower. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's difference. Now, divisibility model, as I said, again, we have the divisibility by 8. The last three digits has to be divisible by 8. You know all this. Divisibility by 9. The sum of the digits has to be divisible by 9. Okay. Now, 11. I'll quickly again give you the brush up of this concept. Sum of the digits in odd places minus sum of the digits in even places is divisible by 11. Once again, this is a difference. Right. This is also a difference. When divisibility rules that we are making, we just count the difference. Okay. It's not the proper subtraction. So, the sum of the digits at odd places and its difference with sum of the digits at even places and then if it is divisible by 11, we say that the number is divisible by 11. Let's check for some examples. So, let's say if I have 209. So, sum, let's say if I choose 209, so sum of the digits at odd places is 2 plus 9 and its difference with sum of the digits at even places which is 0. What do I got? 11 minus 0 which is what? 11. Clearly divisible by 11. Hence, the number 209 is divisible by 11. Got it? This you already know. You you are pretty much aware of it. Let's say 3564. So the sum of digits at odd places minus sum of digits at even places. As I said, it's difference basically. So we get this 9 minus 9 
or 9 difference 9, that gives me what? 0, which is clearly divisible by 11. Hence, the number is divisible by 11. Perfect. Got the idea. Divisibility rules. It's a quick brush up. I hope everyone is comfortable with it. I am moving on to the question application in PNC. Now, that's why it becomes really interesting. Start with it. A 5 digit number divisible by 3 is to be formed using the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 without repetition. Please note down the question quickly. Number has to be divisible by 3 and the numbers that we can choose are rather the digits that we can choose are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. And in total, I have to make a 5 digit number. 5 digit number using digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 without repetition. Then you have to give me the total number of ways. Options are 216, 600, 240 and 3125. Okay, so this is what my options are. I hope everyone must have noted down the question. Five digit number is to be formed, which has to be divisible by three using digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 without repetition. Got the idea? Options are 216, B option 600, next option 240, last option 3125. All right, perfect. Let's start solving it. I'm moving on to the next page now. Okay, I'm, I'm start solving it. Guys, please try to report to the answer in the chat box. Lovely. So these are the digits that we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. My aim is first of all find to, to find out the combination of the digits which are giving me the sum of itself of like those digits. I have to choose any five digits such that their sum becomes a multiple of three. Okay, so among these digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's quickly see what is the sum of all the digits. Whatever the digits are given to me, what is the sum of all these six ones? So sum of all the six ones are 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is nothing but equal to what? Simple 15. It's a very simple one. Now this sum is divisible by 3. So if I can anyhow remove 0, then the rest of the other one will also be divisible by what? The sum will be what? 15 only. And if the sum of the rest of the other digits is 15, then the number formed with the help of these digits will surely be divisible by 3. So one thing is for it pretty sure that I can use the digits combination as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll be removing 0. One case. Okay, first case is clear. Now the other case could be 3 is a multiple of 3. I don't have to worry about it. If I talk about 0, 1 plus 2. So 0 plus 1 plus 2 will also give me what? Simply 3. And 4 plus 5 will give me what? 9. And the sum of these two, 3 plus 9 is again what? Simply 12, which is also divisible by 3. So the second combination becomes what? 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. So these are the two possible combinations. Did you get the idea? I have six digits. I have to remove only one digit so that the sum becomes a multiple of 3. Sum of all the six digits is 15, which is divisible by 3. So I can remove those digits only, which are divisible by 3 itself. That is 0 and 3. So once I have removed 0, I got the possible combination of digits as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when I'm removing 3, the possible combination of digits was 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. Did you get the idea how we are choosing the cases? Right? Okay. So the total number of all the six digits was 15. So I have to remove any one digit because I have to make a five digit number without repetition. So I have to remove any one number which should also be divisible by 3 such that the sum remains divisible by 3 only. All right. So the divisible by, so the digits divisible by 3 among all the given ones are 0 and 3. So once I have to remove 0, so I got the possible combination of digits as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the moment when I remove 3, I get the combination of digits as 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. Right. Now, once you are pretty much clear with the cases, I just have to start solving the numbers, which you can count it now. Please start reporting to the answer much before than me. All right. Possible sum of five digits such that the number form is divisible by three. There will be only two combinations that we have here. So it could be either 12 or 15. That's for the two combinations that we can have. And for these two combinations, the case one will be when I have removed the number three, my possible digits are 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. Right. Because the sum becomes equal to 12. So that's a simple thing. Now, the number of ways of doing so what can I do? Right. See, I have five. If I choose all the five, these five can arrange themselves in how many ways? Five P five. Now you must be saying, sir, zero is there. How can you put it up into the in, into the uh, very first place? Right. Not the units place, the last place or the 10,000th place if you call it in that. All right. So in that way, if zero happens to be in the first case, then it will be a trouble. So what I'm doing, I first of all, by five P five wave, I'm taking the all the total number of ways. Right. Using all those five digits. 
but I know that there will be a mistake. So I will be the removing the one in which the first place, right? The number of ways in which zero comes in the first place. How will I be doing that? See, if zero is in the first place, so zero can be placed up only one way, right? So I'm putting zero as a number here, right? So these are the five places which I have to fill actually. And I know that zero is coming here. So there is only one way to fill up the first place. Now in rest of the four places, I have four digits which I can arrange in how many ways? 4P4, which is nothing but what? Factorial four ways. Did you get the idea? So I'm counting the ones in which intentionally zero is at the first place. Only these are the ones which I have to subtract from the total number of cases, right? So from total number of cases, I'm subtracting the ones in which zero comes in the first place. And that can simply be written as nothing but is equal to what? This becomes simply as factorial five minus factorial four, right? Factorial five is 120, factorial four is 24. You get the result as 96. Pretty simple. Understood what we are doing here. Okay. So this is sorted, 96. Okay, now let me give you a very quick brush up also that is there any other way by which we can do this? Yes, of course. Let me show you. If I have the digits 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. So first place can be filled up in four ways. Zero cannot come, right? Either one or two or four or five. Okay, now once the first place is filled up by any non-zero digit, now in the second place I can have three non-zero digit and zero. So again, the second place can also be filled up in four ways. Exactly. Now, the first two places are filled. Total digits were five. Two places I've already used. How many places I'm left with? Three places. They can be arranged in three into two into one. As simple as it looks. Which is nothing but what? Simply four into factorial four. What is factorial four? 24. Four into 24 gives you what? 96. Exactly. It is the same result that you're getting here. Has to be. <laughs> Method changes. Answer doesn't change, right? Got the idea? The first one. Perfect, the number of numbers, five digit numbers, which are formed using the digit 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. Perfect, lovely. Case 2, what do I have the digits as? They are simply 1, 2, 4, 5. Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, these five digits are to be placed in five places, right? Because five digit number has to be formed. In how many ways I can do that? The number of ways will be nothing but what? They will be simply 5P5 which is nothing but factorial 5 or 120. So what are my total number of ways? Total number of ways will become equal to 120 from the second case and 96 from the first case. So the answer becomes 216 number of cases, right? So the key takeaway for this question was that how we are making the combination of those digits which whose sum is divisible by 3, right? And then after that, it's a pretty simple one. And I've given you two explanations for this 96. I hope it's pretty evident and clear for everyone. Right? So in the second way, we have just filled the blank spaces. You remember that method? All right? So the answer becomes 216. Perfect. 